So so you had a friend named named Larry that knew the spook hunters, but he himself was not a spook hunter. Right. Larry Shoe went to St. Anthony with me. He went to uh, uh, high school with me. And uh, like I said, he lived in Victory Park. Victory Park at that time was the last white enclave that was uh, off Wilmington. That was the last one. And it was all, actually it was one of Del Clausen's. Uh, that he, Clawson, Del Clawson was, I think was a director. It was, it was actually a Navy barracks that they were, they were built during the war. But it was, uh, it was all white. And it was, uh, it was called Victory Park. In fact, later on they called it White Island. But that's where I saw Larry was, with, I was with Larry one night, one day, I, was, I used to visit him, and I saw these two guys come up uh, to the house, and uh, they were wearing those jackets, and I, you know, I was wanting to know who, who these guys were, and, I, and then uh, I, I looked at the back of the jacket, and I saw, like I said, it was a, it was a logo of a black dude being hung. As a, and I, I can swear to that, man. I mean, I'll take a, oh, a lightning cut. <laughs> what did you think of your friend Larry, who had close associations with these guys? Well, I didn't think nothing because in, in that 19, this is 1958. Um, it, it was that kind of stuff was was was, was you know you had racial uh, strives, you had racial divisions in that time. So Larry just knowing these guys, it didn't mean that that he was part of them. You know, I knew some guys. That, in, in Compton, that were farmers that were just as bad, if not. And I'm not saying that you know they were that they were that racial, but they were they, they weren't exactly you know let's say friends of whites. So the the friends that um, Larry Shoup had were not from Compton. No, and that's when I found out they were from Huntington Park. And then later on, I heard and I didn't know because I was inquisitive as as the the spook hunters that they started, that the gang started in Huntington Park. Now you gotta remember in Huntington Park in those days it was all white. You know, it's all Mexican now. But in those days it was all white. And they said that the spook hunters, that's where they originated. They played a big role in 1959 during the first riot at Compton High School. It was the spook hunters that came into that. Okay, so so this is a year before you, you're... A year before. So in 58, you're 16? Yeah, I went on to a, a car club called the Latin Imperials, and uh, so that's why I was in, I was impressed with the jacket. In fact, I have my Latin Imperial jacket here. And your Latin Imperial jacket is from the fifties. Yeah. Late. Yeah. Okay. So when you when you go to when you go back home to one hundred thirty six and Central, do you ever share with any of your black friends? That what what you saw when you went to visit Larry Shoup, or you just kept that to yourself? I kept it myself, basically, because I knew that they were going to question my my friendship, my you know, familiarity with Larry Shoup. You know, what are you doing there? What are you hanging out with that guy? Blah blah blah. So rather than get into that kind of a controversy, I just kept it to myself. Yeah, that's um, like I, I could. Um, Imagine that logo on the back of the jacket and what it looks like. Because I heard this story from a guy named Suge Wright, Raymond Wright, Raymond Suge Wright, who was a businessman. And he said, he told the exact same story that you just said in an interview that Clee gave, Clee did with him in uh, like 1997. So it's kind of, I'm getting a little bit of chills just hearing you say <laughs> that, you they're, know. They're real, man. Yeah, they were real. But mostly back then, it was it was fighting. It wasn't killing. Yeah, there like, wasn't shooting. There wasn't yeah, shooting no shooting going. It was a lot of fighting. Brass knuckles. They had the old zip gun. You know that damn thing that you know was it was only good for five feet. You know, they, you know it was a rubber band. And you shot that bullet. It never. You know, how do I know about it? Because I saw them do it. You know. So when you was a teenager in the in the mid to late fifties, did you ever spend any time in Huntington Park? Yeah, I used to go to the California Theater. It was a, uh, we used to catch that red car. The red car used to run from Compton or actually on Willowbrook. You caught the red car, it, it took you, or the bus, it took you into Huntington Park. Now the red car was a, a surface train-like trolley, right? Right. It ran all the way from downtown LA to Long Beach. And would it go down like the center of the roads? Center, it was actually, it, was a, it, had its, it had its own rail. It ran down Alameda, all the way down to the port. 
And why did they get rid of those red cars, by the way, if you know? They, they got rid of them because they, they had the RTD, they got the buses, which actually were terrible because they had all your contamination in from the buses. That's what caused smog. When they had the trolley and they had electrical cars in downtown LA, they had the e-car, and they all ran off electricity. It, uh, they didn't have any smog. It seems like um, hearing about the red car and reading about it, that it was a more efficient and a better way to of transportation, public transportation. I thought, I caught the red car every day because I went to high school in Long Beach. So I caught the red car over on Willowbrook and Compton. There was a station there. And so I would catch the red car and we'd go all the way, me and Vito Toselli, you know. He did, actually, Vito lived in Watts. So Vito would, uh, he moved from Lincoln Heights. When he moved, he moved into Watts. So we, he would catch it off 131st Street and then he would come down and we'd catch it off Maya, Willowbrook and Compton. We'd go to St. Anthony together. So, so when you when you finish at St. Leo's, you, you graduate there, and then you go to high school after St. Leo's? Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback, and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description, and thanks for watching StreetTV.net.